Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And in this little pouch, I've got a unique little radio from Jeff. Uh, Jeff uh, gets these little pouches and things that were used for other stuff, and he uses it to put his radios in. I think that's a cool idea. So we're going to open this up right now. Pretty small. And what this is, this is a Sony... Walkman radio. It's AM, FM, and weather band. It also has a clock right there. You can see it says 217 right now. And it has pre selects you can set up. Uh, so it has right here, it has a band button to select AM, FM, FM1, and FM2. It's both the same frequency, but it gets you two set of preset buttons by doing that. And down here is where you select the weather band. This is your five presets. This is your tuning and um, setting your time buttons. Up here is a clock button to either display the clock or not display the clock when it's on. Display its frequency when it's on. Over here is the headphones jack, and here is the Weatherband FM Sense for eco either DC or local. And up here we have the volume control and the lock control to lock the button so you won't accidentally change. The frequencies or the band because this was used as and it's called a walkman it was used to take on walks and jogs and stuff like that it's water resistant in that um, moisture won't get inside of it while you're like you're if you're jogging and you're sweating profusely it won't get down inside the radio uh, back here is the belt clip which is removable and the battery compartment which it uses one AAA battery that's it nothing on the bottom that's it okay so let's turn it on this is the power button right here and it's on right now you don't hear anything that's because it does not have any internal speaker so you have to use headphones with this so I'm, I've got a little amplifier right here, and I'm going to use that. Plug it in the headphones jack right here. And, of course, they're playing music. So let me stop that. I thought I had a station. Uh, I thought I had a FM talk radio station. And it turns out it's a music station. So let's, let's tune down with... No audio. Let's go to the other band. Let's go to AM. There's the other FM band. Let's hope I'm holding this right so you can see it. Very small display here, but large enough. Okay, now it's on the AM band. So let's plug this back in. And we got noise. So use these two buttons here to tune up and down. And of course we got this noisy room of mine, RF wise, so it's struggling. There we go. There we go. So, you used to, you either have to use an amplified speaker system or earbuds, or headphones. Good, good sound. Of course, that's really dependent on what you're using for listening. And I don't think um, I've got the um, manual up here. The manual's really small. It's one page. I'm looking for. Yeah, I don't think it will. Automatic tune. So you just ma you just manually push one of these two buttons to tune it.
And of course, it's a digital display. Yeah, it's definitely struggling in my office here. And uh, what the manual says is the antenna is the earbud or ear phone cable. That's what it uses for an antenna. And I don't think that's true for AM. I think it's only true for FM in the weather bay. Let's see if we can get the weather band. So let's turn it back on. And we'll hit weather band. There's channel one. And then I have to use up and down channels here. Nope. Can't get anything on the, uh, the weather channel. Most likely because I don't have this, like you would have this on your belt clip and then you would have the cable for your earbuds going up your side. So it would be, it would be vertical where I got it laying down flat. So it would probably work a lot better. Plus, you wouldn't be in your office with a bunch of computers on. And uh, so reception would probably be a lot better. This one is in pristine condition, like most of Jeff's radios. None of the lettering has worn off. The lettering is very easy to read. It is a small display, though, for the time and the channel, but typically these type of radios, you set them and forget them, you know. It's, the circuitry is PLL, phase lock loop. It's not DSP. So this is pre-DSP. Like I said, it does have five presets you can set. Actually, five for AM, five for FM1, five for FM2. So you actually get two. And then you can use presets on the weather band. See if I get any other things in my notes. The, the clock has no alarm. It does have a nine hertz and 10 hertz tuning. So if, whether you're in the United States or outside the United States. I should, I meant to say kilohertz, not hertz, kilohertz. And let me see if I can see any specs here on this sheet. Uh, FM tunes at 0.1 megahertz. AM tunes at 10 kilohertz. Power is 2.8 milliwatts. And it's stereo for FM. It's stereo for FM. And it uses, like I said before, one AAA battery. That's about it. I don't think I have any other notes. No. Oh, um... When these were being sold, and they were sold up to 2008, new, they were about 60 to $80. Uh, Sony, back in that time when it made all these radios and stuff like that, and even now, uh, the TVs and stuff like they make, are very high quality. Very high quality. So that's it. Thanks, Jeff, for loaning this to me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my shows, please give me a thumbs up. And have a great day. Bye-bye.